this is one of my all-time favorites just because it turns into a ball. It's like you're creating a balloon. We call this the water bomb base, and that's what you start with, and it creates that ball. So the first thing we need to do in origami is we're gonna work with a square. Traditional origami is always a square. So take regular standard piece of paper and fold that triangle along the side, then fold that rectangle down. Now you can use scissors to cut that little edge off or use your nail technique where you squish it really hard or use a, something hard to go against it. Then you just gently rip it off. Voila, sometimes it's smoother than scissors. Once you have that, you're gonna open it up and you're going to fold the triangle the other way as well. What we're doing is we're creating lines going from corner to corner. And there's a reason why I don't just make it smaller and smaller. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip it and I'm going to fold it into a rectangle. So now I'm gonna go in half and I'm doing it opposite. So these folds are gonna be opposite than the others. Those of you that are familiar with the crane base, it's very similar to that start. However, the crane goes into a diamond and this will be going into a triangle. So the same folds apply. Now, when I open this up, you'll see that there is the ones in the middle, and then you'll notice that our some are coming up. What I wanna do is take the middles and pull them all together. And it's going to make the shape of a triangle, not a diamond like the crane. So the water base is a triangle. All those corners, the sides, not the corners, the sides come in and the corners go out. Then I'm gonna take one layer at a time and I'm gonna fold it up to the center. I'm gonna do so on all four sides. You might wanna pause the video at this point because I think I'm getting a little fast here. But take all of them, you flip it over, and then you pull those sides up on the other side as well. And make sure your creases are nice and tight. The more accurate your fold is, the better. Now take one layer and pull it into the middle of it. You might wanna hit pause, look at that again. Pull it into the middle. Then what you do to one side, you're gonna to do to all four sides. Origami is very balanced. It's very about symmetry. So you're gonna take it in and fold it. Flip it over and you're gonna do the same to the back side. Take it and fold it in. All right, we're rolling along here. Now this next step might get a little tricky. You're gonna notice that one side is closed and then the other side has some loose ends. You're gonna find the loose end, fold it along the side of the water bomb, and then you're going to tuck it in. Now look there, you can see there's a little opening because it's layers. Sometimes you have to take your fingernail and open it up. And then you're going to take that little part that's fold down and you're gonna tuck it in. You're tucking it in there to make it nice and tight and keep it from opening up when you blow it up. Here we go, nice and tight, got it. What you do to one side, you're gonna do to all four sides. So then I take it around. So this might seem like it takes a long time, but really you're just doing the same thing over and over. It's only a couple steps. So once you get the hang of it, the better you are, the more accurate you can have. Then it's time for the magic to happen. Notice one end's closed, that one has a hole. The hole is where you're gonna blow it up. So gently, don't squeeze it because your hands have to be able to expand with it when you blow into it. Blow into it and whoop, there we go. There's your ball. They call it the water bomb, but I just love it because you can play with it and enjoy. All right, I can't wait to see yours. Have fun, bye.